Frederick program was conceived of by these two young blue elephant artists as a municipal art installation. After the artists have decorated the keys, they then go out onto the streets of Frederick where they'll appear for the next 60 days. And after approximately 60 days, we'll have an auction here. The auction will benefit nonprofits and art centers all throughout the region. They're obelisks with graffiti all over them. It's like 2001. That's okay. I think a lot of people don't get it. I don't get it. I'd love to count the times. Everything is right, everything is right, everything is right. I bet you there's 20 times here. Hi, this is Ron Cassidy with um, NBC Channel 25 in Hagerstown. We're with Ben Cottrell, one of the anarchies, the Frederick artists. You know, this is a really good idea. This has probably been a good outlet for you guys. You yeah, it's, the work? it's great because it gives the young artists a chance to get their name out there to get their creativity out there to really show what can be done. Some say, one is not a thief until they are caught. To that end, the Arts Council is offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of the person or people responsible for defacing our public art. Ultimately, I believe this entire episode demonstrates that graffiti leads to vandalism, it leads to drugs, crime, gangs, and terrorism. If our art is not safe, we are not safe. Woo!